It's clashing day, my friends. We have Bowlers and Miners 3-star. Let's break it down. Now, this, this is not a maxed out base. I would say it's comparable to some extent so, uh, to my heroes. Uh, so let's see how we're going to come in and why I chose this side. So obviously when you're going in, you want to go away from sort of uh, the minor, I mean from the air, from the, I cannot talk, oh my goodness, You from the Expos, there it is, from the Expos, so I'm going to be coming from the south, and then of course this base isn't the greatest base design, so the bowlers will really take out hopefully both of those Inferno Towers. Now the big key here is obviously creating that funnel. I'm going to use that baby dragon to do that. But I'm coming from the south. It's away from the uh, expos or two of the expos, and then they'll pass directly into the core of the jump spell. You'll just know it's going to go right there. You'll you see where it's going to go, and they're going to bring in the miners uh, to at the you know again in conjunction. When you're dealing bowlers and miners, you always bring in the miners right behind the bowlers. Now a lot of people like to bring two golems. I prefer having extra bowlers. I, I think it depends on the base, honestly, to bring whether one or two golems. I think on these lower Town Hall 10s, it's one um, golem is enough, in, in my opinion. So obviously uh, you're looking at air defenses. So what I'm gonna bring in, bring in the funnel using the baby dragon, you can tell that air defense will not reach that eastern compartment. So I'm gonna put the baby dragon over there. Unlike on the west side, look at that air defense. It would hit more of those units. So it's just spotting those little differences and that's how you can find out where do I place the baby dragon. And then on the other side, I'm gonna use a giant, some wizards, and maybe a miner or two to clear uh, the funnel. And then right into the core will go my main branch of the army and hopefully it should just go the base should fall very quickly with that one rage for the bowlers and the core there's the baby dragon again it's out of range from that air defense and all i'm doing is making sure uh, the funnel is created honestly i could bring a little more funnel troops if you're a little nervous about it you know maybe an extra baby dragon because a lot of people do put those air traps now on the outside of the base uh, kind of a lure. It's like a trap. <laughs> so the baby dragon is doing its thing. There comes the golem on that end with some wizards behind it. And then on the, as you can tell, I'm going to still have to clear out some of those eastern compartments. So I'm dropping a giant for cover and then a couple miners to clear the path. And here comes the king with the wall breakers and uh, the uh, bowlers will follow suit. Now I did drop a few more miners than I wanted to at the beginning. Um, but it's okay. Things are going well. The king will come back towards the core and everything will go into the middle just how I wanted. The golem did take a lot of damage, but it created that funnel. I could have maybe used another unit, but look how quickly I put the miners right behind the bowlers. So they're almost together entering the base at the same time. This is very critical because look what happens. All those defensive units are focused on the king, some of the bowlers, and so the miners have a better chance of staying alive uh, as they get into the base. Of course, I drop both heal spells right when they're about to engage some of those wizard towers. You can tell on the west there, the wizard towers and uh, are, are going to not be able to take out my miners so quickly. Again, if you're deciding when to place heal spells, place them with the wizard towers and it will go well with you again things are looking great look at all my bowlers bowlers are still alive and the miners because i dropped them in unison that's very critical when you're taking down bases you cannot uh just wait for your bowlers to, to attack first and then the miners i found bringing them together will really cause a lot of problems obviously the queen is going to take down that inferno, inferno tower and the, all i have left is uh, not too many units and I got a lot of miners left and one heal spell. I'm gonna place it towards the north there. I thought it was uh, much needed up and towards the west north instead of the east north uh, because that wizard tower was there. Again, wizard towers really wreck miners. Um, but look, I got bowlers and the queen left. So it was a great attack, perfectly executed. And there you go. The funnel was created, and that's why really this raid was successful. Every single bowler went into the core. No, none of the bowlers went around the base. And it's okay that I sacrificed a couple miners at the beginning to create that funnel. So there you have it. A three-star attack from a Town Hall 10 using bowlers and miners. 
and there you go. Try, give it a try, and I think it'll well, go well for you. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We will see you next time, my friends. Halo out.